Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to add 3D cars, or any 3D objects in your speed ramped videos easy in After Effects, let's begin. First of all let's go to Sketchfab and download any 3D model, I have already downloaded that Supra, and note, just make sure to register on Sketchfab to download 3D models. To get the model, just scroll down a bit and click on download 3D model here. Download GLB format. After that, we will need to go to Polyhaven and download 3D lights or what we call HDRIs. Just make sure to download one that fits your scene perfectly. I have already downloaded mine and now we can begin editing the video. So first let's select the clip and then click on track camera and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done, I will scroll my video until I find the best tracking points. I think I will select some there, because I want my 3D car to be right here. Now right click on selected points and select create solid and camera. Once we have that tracked solid, we have to make sure that the renderer is set to advanced, click here and select advanced 3D. In case you don't see it here by any reason, go to composition and click on composition settings. Go to 3D renderer and change it to advanced 3D. Now we can drag and drop 3D model, in my case it's a Toyota Supra. Make sure to hit on make comp size, otherwise it will be massive. Now hit OK and then we will need to correct all positions of a 3D model and make sure that it's tracked perfectly. To make things easier, select track solid layer and press P on a keyboard, now copy that position and then paste it on your 3D model. Now press S on a keyboard and scale 3D model until it looks fine to you. Then take your time and make sure to correct rotations and position of the car. Once everything is cool to you, we can check if the 3D model is tracked perfectly. In my case it's so smooth and fine, so now we can drag and drop 3D lights as well. Make sure to toggle it off and then create new light layer. Change light type to environment and make sure that the cast shadows are checked and then hit OK. As you see lights and shadows are already applied, but it will need some easy retouch. Under an environment layer change source to a HDRI you have downloaded. Lights are better and in case you want to control them, open transform settings and play around with the rotations until it looks realistic, but I will skip it for now. Now let me show you how to fix the shadows easy. Select track solid layer and press S on a keyboard and then make sure to scale it something massive like that. Now open track solid settings. Expand material options and make sure to change accepts shadows to only. And as you see now we have a clean shadow under the car and it looks way better. Now let's quickly check what it looks like and then we can correct the lightning as well. Looks really cool. And now let's open environment transform settings and then play around with X and Y rotation until the lights are realistic and better. I think it looks fine, cause the lights in my video are hitting from that side and correcting the lights and shadows made it look better. So let's quickly check it one more time. Looks fine to me, and now the main part, how to make all these speed ramped. Make sure to select all these layers we were working on and pre-compose them into one layer. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now right click on pre-composed layer, go to time and select enable time remapping. Scroll to the beginning of your layer and move that time forward until you are happy with the beginning of the clip. Then go forward where you want speed ramp to end and move the time forward again until you are satisfied with the ending. Once everything is cool, I will delete the rest of my clip and then select both time remap key frames and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then let's go to graph editor, right click here and select edit value graph and make a smooth curve. Let's check it now. And we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.